for murder in Laurel County is now behind bars. We'll have the details. Plus, a new nonprofit is aiming to help young victims of human trafficking and sexual abuse in Kentucky. Hear from the women behind it. We had a rather chilly, wintry day out there. Now, temperatures right now are in the 30s. They are dropping once again. This is our sky view of Hamburg. Beautiful night underway. Nothing here on radar at the moment, but temperatures are going to be dropping down into the upper 20s by the time after midnight. And I did say wintry day. Astronomically speaking, the first day of winter will be the 21st of December. Meteorologically speaking, the three coldest months, December, January, February. So the way I look at it, we're in winter, but temperatures are going to be warming up this week. I'll have the details coming up. ABC 36 News Weekend Edition starts now. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us. I'm Justin Walker. Caitlin Scheib has the night off. It's been nearly 10 months since 32-year-old Jordan Morgan was killed. Morgan was the daughter of former state lawmaker Wesley Morgan and Lisa Foster. Foster is among a group of women in Madison County who are forming a nonprofit aimed at helping victims of human trafficking and in Kentucky. I sat down with some of those women this week to talk about the need for what is being called redeeming hope. It's our top story at 630. Lisa Foster knows heartache all too well. I lost my daughter. Her daughter, Jordan Morgan, was tragically killed in a home invasion earlier this year. And while she misses Jordan every day, she's turning that heartache into something positive. Okay, I'm going to get my work done here. I'm putting my life into it. This is the last thing I'm doing. I'm passionate about it. And then I'm going to heaven to be with Jordan. Foster is one of 10 women who are forming Redeeming Hope. It's a non-discriminatory nonprofit aimed at helping girls aged 14 to 18 years old who've all been human trafficked or sexually abused. Jamie Arnold is the house director. Human trafficking is a bigger problem in our state, I think, than most people realize. Um, we are number nine in the country for human trafficking. Arnold says Redeeming Hope will provide education, therapy, and most of all, love to the girls who've experienced something no young girl should go through. Worst thing that has happened to them yet in their lives, we want them to know that doesn't have to be their life, their legacy. There's life beyond that. It's a calling that the women involved are passionate about. It's going to be a home setting. Not an institution, not a residential facility. It will be a group home and we will get the children, you know, out of foster care. The women say there's still a lot of work to do and a lot of bridges to cross. The goal is to have Redeeming Hope up and running by summer 2023. We are hoping to get a contract with the state because the children will be in foster care. For Foster, an unexpected realization. Jordan was an advocate for human trafficking prevention. She was on the task force for human trafficking in northern Kentucky. So when I hadn't even remembered that, when all this came about, I was like, oh, yes, Lord, thank you. That, you know, so it all just kind of went there together. But yes, I'm sure that she's, I'm sure she's looking at her saying, you go, Mom. <laughs> Now, if you'd like to donate to their cause, you can find out how by clicking on this story on our website, WTVQ.com. Well, the search has ended for an East Bernstadt man wanted for murder in a deadly shooting in Laurel County. The Laurel County Sheriff's Office says 56-year-old Bailey Smith allegedly shot and killed a man during an argument on Friday at a home on Old Crab Orchard Road near London. Sheriff John Root says deputies arrested Smith without incident at a business off US 25 just north of London last night at around 1030. Smith was charged with murder in the shooting death of his brother, Grant Smith of London. Smith is behind bars at the Laurel County Detention Center that investigation is ongoing. And the search continues for an escaped inmate in Casey County. The Casey County Sheriff's Office says two women escaped from the county jail Thursday morning. Angela Mason was found later in the day. However, the search continues for Chastity Burton. The Sheriff's Office says one of the inmates is a cook and had access to a door that allowed them to escape. Even though Burton is considered a level one inmate, deputies say you should remain vigilant and call 911 if you see her. All eyes were on Kentucky's offense heading into the Michigan game after a rough first half against Bellarmine earlier in the week. 
But the Cats, it was the defense. The defense, I tell you, that stole the show in this one as Kentucky gets a 73-69 win over the Wolverines. Now, Michigan shot only 39% from the field in a back-and-forth battle. It was a balanced scoring day by the Cats with senior Jacob Toppin and freshman Casey Wallace leading the way with 14 points apiece. Wallace really showed that he can be the Cats' closer in late-game situations. That's something to keep an eye on going forward this season. Now, coming up later in sports, we'll have highlights from the Cats' win, so stay tuned. All right, thanks, Chris. Well, a popular Christmas market wrapping up this weekend at Mickler's Greenhouses. Mickler says about 20 vendors took part this year, selling wooden toys, candles, pottery, jewelry, dolls, and much more. The market included live music with about six bands performing. There were also warm fires and Christmas pastries. Organizers say many of the vendors come back each year as people feel the space to enjoy the art and the atmosphere. We built this space to be a community space. So when it fills with community, that's when it feels best to us. You know, every year we wonder, are people gonna come? And then when people show up, it just really warms our hearts and we're so excited that people are here today. Mickler says they have wreaths, boxwood trees, and seasonal bulbs all set to bloom throughout the Christmas season. Well, still to come on ABC 36, the Wildcats are going bowling. Chris Bolton will tell you who UK will be playing this postseason in sports. And all eyes are on a Senate runoff election in Georgia. We'll have the details.